Eric. <laughs> Hi, Dean. Nice to see, to see you again. See you. Yeah, pleasure. That was a class. Well, it's the same one you took when you were here four years ago. It uh -huh. demystified innovation for me. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, since that time, I've been on a bit of a journey investigating using innovation. I could tell you were really interested. Well, I just uh, got back from the skate park. And you're still alive. <sighs> My whole body hurts. <laughs> it was fun. It was worth it. Great example of user innovation. Mm -hmm. But I do wonder, mm. is this a rare example? Or is user innovation a widespread phenomenon? Oh, man. User innovation is huge. I mean, think of the definition. User innovation is when you create something to use it. Now, we all have needs, right? I mean, you run across this need and that need. Yeah. And if it's really a severe need, you'll do something about it. Mm -hmm. Anytime anybody runs into a big problem and there's no commercial solution, you're going to get user innovation. So it's not limited to recreational activities such as skateboarding. It's a huge phenomenon, and it's across every phase of life. What are examples of user innovations that a lot of people would know about? Almost any innovation you could think of is user developed. I mean, from things like wheels on suitcases, that was a user innovation. When you look at the heart lung machine, that's a user innovation. When you look at the World Wide Web, wow, that's a user innovation. They developed the stuff. Completely new products. Completely new products, like skateboarding was. Yeah. Where the manufacturer would say, I didn't even know you wanted that. I didn't even know how to ask a marketing question about that. Oh my gosh, right? The reason that companies don't get involved more in innovation, a lot of it really is user innovation, is because they only want well-established big markets. Mm. And every market at the start is uncertain and it's small. Not established. That's right, exactly. So that's the story with skateboarding. In the beginning, right. I mean, the company would look at that and say, you know, those kids are crazy. There's just some beach bumps. Exactly. And there are only a few hundred of them, and who cares? Yeah. And then it grows little, to millions and millions and hundreds of millions of people. Yeah. And all of a sudden, they say, yeah, that's a good thing to do. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it sounds like user innovation is a great way to start companies. It's a fabulous way. In fact, research has shown that 50% of the innovative companies founded are founded by user innovators. And when you think as a user innovator that you're just making something for yourself, you really misunderstand. Because when we study the whole system, much of the commercial stuff in the world is developed by users like you, users who are professionals or amateurs in any category of activity. And it's fabulous if you and others can figure out how important this whole pattern is, then you can have opportunities to learn for yourself, innovate for yourself, and maybe start a company. This is cool. This is cool. Well, now I want to continue my journey okay. and look at user innovation. Yeah. Those are eyes of an innovator. That sounds fabulous. Well, great to see you. See you soon again. Good to see you.